Florida State and Clemson are now suing the ACC and in return being sued back. Will Miami be the next to join them? We'll discuss here in this video. Welcome into the channel. I am John Kurtz. Here on this channel, we talk college football, conference realignment, college basketball all day, every day. Make sure you're subscribed if you are not. Live shows Wednesdays and Sundays, they are a blast. People from all corners of the college football world. It is a great time, and if you click the bell and subscribe, you'll know when that is happening so you can join in on the fun. If you could like the video, I would really appreciate that as well. Free and easy way to support the channel. And let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, should Miami join Florida State and Clemson here? And where do you think the Hurricanes end up? Let me know in the comments of the video, and that would be much appreciated. So we got a, we got a little update out of Miami. Uh, article from the Miami Herald here about where Miami's head is at. And this is written by Barry Jackson, who uh, is a great beat writer there that, that covers Miami. Uh, Miami has been fairly quiet here as Clemson and Florida State have been much louder, particularly Florida State, making all this noise, starting their lawsuits and battle against the conference to try to get out. Miami is still viewed as one of the better brands in the ACC, even though the football on the field hasn't really matched up to that in a long time. But there are a lot of quotes, uh, quotes rather, from Dan Radakovich, who is the athletic director at Miami, that are referenced in this article. So let's dive into it. In the wake of Clemson joining Florida State in a legal battle against the ACC, the University of Miami is evaluating the situation, but has not prepared any lawsuit and has no plans at the moment to take the conference to court, a source told the Miami Herald on Tuesday. So it's kind of a general theme here. It, it seems like Miami is really slow playing this thing. If you are to take uh, Dan Radakovich at face value with his comments. Meanwhile, UM athletic director, Dan Radakovich reiterated Miami's intentions to support the ACC in an appearance with WQAM's Jim Rose, Joe Rose, excuse me, on Thursday. Uh, here at the University of Miami, we are incredibly solid with the ACC. It's a great conference, provides great structure, access to the playoff, which is very, very important. We look at our circumstances here with a very orange and green set of glasses saying, are we in a good spot growing our football program? Those are more glowing comments, certainly, than what about anybody else has said at a North Carolina, Florida State, or Clemson about the ACC right now. Their public comments have been much more along the lines of like, hey, love the ACC, been here a long time, been doing this thing for a while, but we've got to do what's best, and the landscape clearly is changing. That's not really the tone that we're getting here. Here's another quote. Uh, quote, we're invested in it. Brought Mario Cristobal here. He's establishing an incredible foundation. The ACC is still one of the power four conferences that are part of the college football playoff. A very active and vibrant member of that power four. We are very proud to be a part of that, a leading brand within the ACC, and will continue to be a part of it. Uh, Clemson's lawsuit against the ACC caught many by surprise and was viewed as a first step in the Tigers' expected attempts to exit the league, though Clemson didn't explicitly state in the lawsuit that it wishes to leave. So we're going to get a reaction here uh, from Radakovich about the Clemson lawsuit. And this, I'm sure basically every ACC athletic director is having to deal with this right now, getting the questions about it whenever they're making some sort of public appearance. And here is what Radakovich had to say, quote, I really didn't see the lawsuit coming at this point in time. Uh, almost every school in the ACC has gone to the home office and looked at the documents and just made sure they understood all the different things associated with the grant of rights, television contracts. I was a little surprised that Clemson did that at this point in time. I had to smile a little bit there like, hey, you know, I was just innocent. You know, we were just down, all of us looking at the grant of rights and the TV contracts, just, you know, for... Uh, we might as well, right? Be detail oriented and all that. I mean, look, no, you, you guys were doing it because you're you're trying to figure out if it's possible to leave. Okay, let's uh, let's call a spade a spade. The quote continues, um, but each of those circumstances are very very local. Whether you have constituencies on campus making a little more noise that we don't want to be in a circumstance where we're at a disadvantage. I guess Clemson looked at that, said this is an important time to lessen exit fees or attempt to eliminate the grant of rights. Same thing with Florida State. Uh, according to Barry Jackson, a UM source said the school is evaluating the situation and could respond differently if Florida State and Clemson are somehow able to bolt the conference. So, I mean, that is pretty telling. A source is saying, like, look, yeah, good chance we respond differently if they're able to get out of this. If they go fight this battle, they go get down and dirty in court and they win, 
and it sets that precedent for everybody else. Yeah, of course, we're not going to be stupid and not follow them. That's that's really my read on that with Miami. But they do not appear to be in position to want to be one of the real carnival barkers up at the front of this. Uh, article says, at the moment, UM does not have an invitation to join the Southeastern Conference or the Big Ten, according to a source with knowledge of the matter. So glad we could get that cleared up, everybody. Miami does not at the moment have an invitation to join the SEC or the Big Ten. I, I would have to think Miami's probably more valuable to the Big Ten here just because the SEC obviously is already into the state of Florida. And if they wanted to add somebody else, Florida State seems to make more sense than Miami does there. Uh, but if you're the Big Ten, I mean, that could way, be a way to get at least a foothold in the state of Florida, which I definitely think would hold some value. But this is, I mean, part of the problem here. Like, they, they don't have an offer, and they don't have an offer because they're, they're not going to be an additive ad right now. This would be much more akin to a, a an Oregon or a Washington joining the Big Ten and taking – a lesser cut to get in that league if it were to happen. Uh, source told Barry Jackson that Miami would listen if either conference called, but its hands are tied at this point. I mean, all of this just, again, you have to take it at, with a bit of a grain of salt, but at the same time, none of it is just very aggressive. And so much of what we've seen from Florida state and Clemson has been very aggressive. North Carolina, not quite as much so, a little more calculated, but still fairly aggressive uh, at times with, with their quotes and certainly not shying away from saying like, hey, the landscape has changed. We're not going to be tethered to the ACC. Uh, the article mentions the SEC and Big Ten's level of interest in Florida State and Clemson is unknown. Uh, the revenue disparity grew wider this week with the finalization of the revamped college football playoff. Beginning in 2026, each Big Ten and SEC team will earn more than $21 million annually under the new agreement. ACC teams will earn just over $13 million annually from the college football playoff. Quote, here's another Radakovich quote, the last one that I will give to you. Those dollar differentials aren't going to change the path of how we move forward as an organization. It's not going to change uh, from how we are looking to build our football and basketball programs. <laughs> I guess you can say that. I don't understand how it actually would be true, though. I mean, it is quite literally going to affect how much money you will have to spend on coaches and support staff. Um, if we're talking about like directly, directly tying in there and obviously facilities and things like that that go with it, too. But hey, Radakovich public stance seems to be just kind of like uh, the guy in Animal House, right? Like every, all is well, everything is fine. Uh, some some shades of that at least coming off the top publicly from Miami. But you really don't, with Clemson and Florida State doing this now, you kind of can just sit back if you're one of the other ACC schools. Like these two are fired up enough to go fight the battle for you. Uh, Radakovich told WQAM that a two uh Two mega conference future is a possibility, but he doesn't foresee that in the short term. So no mega conference is coming soon, according to uh, the athletic director at Miami. But anyway, different tone struck there than what we have seen from two and maybe three, perhaps if you want to include North Carolina into that three other ACC schools. Let me know what you think in the comments. Where does Miami end up? How do you feel about Miami's reaction to this right now? Let me know what you think. SEC or Big Ten? or something else for the Canes. Uh, appreciate all of you guys. Please like the video on your way out. I would appreciate that. And uh, I will talk to you all soon. Thanks for watching.